I'm back again with another video and in today's video we have a Toshiba laptop this one is a Toshiba satellite and this one is an old uh, Pentium and if you guys have this one of these old models and you want to upgrade the RAM and to make it a little bit faster in this video I'm going to show you guys step by step how to do that so you can do it easily and there's no nothing that you can damage in this process it's really hard to damage something all right First thing first, we need to power off the laptop, make sure you completely turn it off. And then next step is to grab yourself the screwdriver set. I'm gonna be using the iFixit tool set as they have one of the best tool set out there, which have the S2 class steel, which are really tough in steel, and they're really suitable to opening electronics. We're gonna be using a Phillips number one from this tool set. I'll leave the link in the description. And Next step, it should be pretty forward easy. We're gonna remove the battery by removing this. Uh, remove this clip to the left one. It says to the unlock position, and uh, slide the other one and hold it, and put your finger net in the mid middle and slide up the battery. Put it to one side. Next, you might have these stickers, warranty stickers, old ones. You can rip them apart because there's a tiny screw right there and a screw right over here. So we're going to loosen up these two screws. Okay, once you loosen up the screws, you want to put your fingernail right in here. If your fingers are really weak, use a flat screwdriver. In this case, I'm going to use a flat screwdriver. Let's take a bit from here and you want to stick it right there and then you want to lift it up really hard and you're going to hear all this cranking. So lift it up and let it crank and it should come out. Pretty much you have to pull it up pretty hard. All right, so this is the service cover from the bottom. Now, once we are in here, and the RAMs is gonna be visible. This one is already being upgraded, so let's go ahead, let me remove this quickly. Let's say yours might be just like this. You have one RAM installed, and you have as additional RAM dim available right there. And to remove the RAMs are really easy. All you have to do is to pull these two triggers which are holding uh, the RAM apart. So pull it there and pull them apart and the RAM should come out in 45 degree angle. And then all you need to do is to grab it in 45 degree angle and bring it out in the same direction. Do not yank it up to the ceiling or anything. Make sure it slide out in the same direction. These are uh, the two gig uh, DDR3 RAMs. You can grab a, uh, change them to Two four gigs, so you have in total eight gigs. We already upgraded to a uh, four gig stick right here. So, when let's say you get the new RAM in here, make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the uh, RAM dim right here. So you're gonna bring it down in 45 degree angle, slide it all the way to the RAM dim, and then push it towards the motherboard, and you should see these two triggers clicking, and they should be straight. The new RAM. If I try to put it the other way around, it's not going to go through because of the notch on the RAM dim. So flip it over, 45 degree angle, stick it all the way to the RAM dim and towards the motherboard and you're going to hit those two clicks. And that's how you add the RAM. Now let's say you add the new RAM in here and you power on and everything turns on but there's no screen. Don't panic. All you need to do, power it off completely again. Remove both of the RAMs and install the new RAM on the first RAM dim at the bottom. Then you want to power it on. And once you get the logo for the Toshiba logo, then you want to turn it off and then plug the second one in and turn it on and wait 5 to 10 seconds. Let the BIOS do a memory check and it should work fine. By the way, this one is a Satellite L845. That's the model for this one. Once you have the RAM installed and everything is working, grab the bottom cover and make sure you put this side down first the side that goes towards the label and then put your finger right in the middle on the corner here and then bring down don't let it go down this one so you want to curve it down on this side and put this one back in and then you want to snap down the sides and last thing would be to tighten up the screws and i hope this video helped you guys to upgrade your ram if it did please click that like button i really appreciate it 
and think about subscribing it will be a great support for my channel thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys in my next video